President Obama is in Russia, and uh, we know this because Sarah Palin says she can see him from her house. A lot of us are still mourning the loss of one of America's most entertaining figures who left us all too soon. But don't worry, folks, Sarah Palin will be back. And the mocking of Sarah Palin continues. When will Americans say enough is enough? Insiders believe that she hopes to be the next Octomom, but I don't know. Personal story segment tonight, predictably after Governor Palin resigned her office in Alaska, the mocking began. There's a surprising announcement over the weekend. Uh, Governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin, is leaving the office. She's stepping down. Something I said? Ah. <laughs> President Obama right now is in Russia. Did you know he's in Russia? It's big. Huge story. Yeah, Obama went there because from Russia you can actually see Sarah Palin cleaning out her office in Alaska. This is weird. In her resignation speech, uh, Sarah Palin said she polled her children on whether she should resign and the count was unanimous. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, even her children thought she was in over her head. With us now, social observer Faith Saley, former Rhodes Scholar, among other things. All right, so when has it become enough's enough? Well, first of all, I have to say, I think Conan has a point. I mean, I don't know how good of an idea it is to push-pull your children. I, I, can you imagine if Obama were doing that? We would, he asked Sasha and Malia, we would have the Jonas Brothers as the economic advisors. Or Miley think, Cyrus on health care. I think when you come to a crossroads in your life, you should consult your children, do you not? Don't you think the crossroads was when she chose to run for governor? No, I mean, she chose to run for governor, and she won, and now she may leave it, and she wanted to get her... I would do the same thing. And if I, if to I were check to with Piper? If I were, <laughs> listen, I don't think she pulled the little children. I think she pulled the oh, older children. Oh, I think children. she had, what was it, three yeahs and one hell yeah, right. Bill. Um, but when is enough enough? I, I, I don't think anybody wants this to stop. I think comedians love it. I think Republicans love her. Democrats love to hate her. And I think she's to but an the, extent in the, charge when the, the mockery stops. It's the mocking. Look, the worst thing you can do to person is to diminish them, to demean them. And there's no doubt that the left in America wants to demean and diminish Sarah Palin, above and beyond practically anybody else in the Republican Party. So it, it then falls upon Americans to say, all right, we've heard it, it was funny the first thousand times, but now it's mean and now it's unnecessary. But Do you think we're getting to that point? Well, you know, I think she left herself open to this with such a sort of craven, vague, semi-resignation resignation speech. If she had said, look, this is too much for me, the ethic charges are too much, I want to be with my family, I'm stepping down, leave me alone. But she didn't. She gave this, like, breathless Escher painting of a speech. I, I counted three sports metaphors and one refrigerator magnet slogan. Okay, so because and then she her, totally her broke speech up with was a little unfocused? A little, I think, is an understatement. <laughs> I mean, this was like, uh, this was like uh, Alaska, I All love right, so, you, we can so be you, friends. So you are not seeing me. critical mass being reached anytime soon here? Because I am. No, not until I think Letterman got hurt uh, and continues to get hurt with, this, with the Palin business. But I think he got hurt and arguably should have because he was dealing with their kids. This right. is Palin herself. She's putting I, I herself think, out there saying... I think Americans saying, are getting tired of it. I really but do. But when you say, I'm going for a higher calling, but then people see you in waiters and you're not, and you're flying around your state. You can mock, you can mock any person on the face of the earth in the public eye. Um, but, you know, we disagree. I think it's critical mass has been reached with the woman, but we'll see. Now, you watched the Michael Jackson stuff all week. How and I uh, heard Geraldo and I bloviating about it. Mm -hmm. Did you pick up anything that disturbed you? Um, I was disturbed that Al Sharpton didn't go far enough in his eulogy. I yeah. think the world... Now, you're, you're mocking Al Sharpton now. Have you reached critical mass there to mock Al Sharpton? No. You're mocking no, Al? No, I'm mocking, never going to reach mocking. critical mass to so mock Al Sharpton. So, Sarah Palin and Al Sharpton, in your mind, uh, are pretty much the same person. Consistent. Open Absolutely. season on they both They both have them. big hair. I like All their right. hair. Now, we had the Reverend on 